guys, welcome to Health is Easy, episode three. We are doing breakfast because my goal in life is to make every human being on the planet eat breakfast. Breakfast is so important. And I always hear the excuse, I don't have time in the morning. Why? Like, for real though, why? You, you can't wake up a little earlier because you're that lazy. I don't want to hear it. There's always an excuse and I hate it. So you want to tell me you don't have time for breakfast? I got you. I got you. All three of these recipes I'm going to show you are all recipes you can make ahead of time. And let's just get going. So three recipes I'm going to make today. First one is crock pot oatmeal. We're doing a cinnamon roll oatmeal with a protein like icing you guys dead done for the whole week you can meal prep it no excuse second recipe is a macro friendly acai bowl i'm obsessed with acai bowls now i have never ordered one at a restaurant ever because i knew how calorie dense they were they are very high in carbs and very very high in fat because of all the toppings the yummy yummy toppings that restaurants put on them and i never was like i never thought the calories were worth it so i found an acai packet at trader joe's and i started making my own and i came up with a macro friendly version that is so good meal prepped you can meal prep these acai bowls so you don't have to cook them in the morning number three is egg white omelet cups i'm doing two different flavor variations of these they are i'm going to do a sausage and pepper egg white omelet cup and i'm going to do a roasted red pepper and feta egg white omelet cup and i cook them in muffin tins so they are perfect little egg white omelets that you can just grab from the fridge pop them in the microwave for 30 seconds and they are done bring them to work eat them in your car no excuses all of these are meant for prepping ahead of time so let's just get going i'm going to start with the oatmeal because it's the simplest crock pot set it and forget it so let's go got my crock pot here i'm going to switch the view so you can see what i'm doing inside my crock pot okay so we got some steel cut oats i just use quaker steel cut oats a cup one cup just kidding okay before you do this you want to spray your crock pot with cooking spray i'm not a professional okay i'm getting there spray the living shit out of your crock pot because you do not it will stick to the bottom so you want to spray a lot thank god i remembered oh my god <laughs> all right now we're gonna add the oats so one cup of oats, steel cut oats. You can use steel cut or old fashioned, but I just prefer steel cut. The macros are actually the same, I just looked. So one cup of oats and four cups of water. Then we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I only have about a teaspoon in here. So one teaspoon of vanilla and one tablespoon of cinnamon. This is cinnamon roll oatmeal. So we want it cinnamony. And I'm going to add a little bit of stevia. This is organic stevia extract. This is the best stevia you will spend your money on. It's $9, $9.99, so $10 from Trader Joe's. But every one of my clients that buy this says it changes their life. So go to Trader Joe's, spend the money. A little bit goes a long way. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to eyeball it. It's gonna, we want this oatmeal sweet and delicious. So I'm just going to sprinkle. Maybe like, I don't know a teaspoon and a half worth let's say that a teaspoon and a half that sounds good and then stir it so everything is incorporated that's it i'm done with the oatmeal like that's it so i'm gonna plug this in and i'm going to put it on low for seven to eight hours my crock pot 
has an eight hour setting. So I'm gonna set it for low on eight hours. And then when it's done, I'm just gonna stir it, add some Walden Farms, but don't fret. I will show you, of course, in eight hours. I'm done with that first recipe. If that wasn't easy enough, I don't know what is. So give me an excuse for that one. Don't have a crock pot, go to Target. I don't got time for your shit. So next recipe. We are going to do the acai bowl. Now, don't judge me. I am asking for a blender for Christmas. I don't have a blender, so what I've been using is my food processor. So make it fucking work, all right? You don't have a blender, food processor is fine. It works just great. So I get this from Trader Joe's. Unsweetened organic acai puree packets. Just go in your frozen fruit section in your grocery store and look for acai. I've seen them everywhere now, but this is what I use just because I go to Trader Joe's like literally, I think every two days. And they come in these little packets and this is one serving. So this is all I use and it's frozen. So what I'm gonna do is put it under some hot water. And I just like, I just leave it under the hot water. So it just gets a little warm. You don't want it warm, but it'll just, you want it to break up because it's, it's in one big, it's just in one big chunk right now. And I'm just like breaking it apart. And it's okay if there's still little chunks, there will be, so don't worry. And I just pour it right into my food processor. Or if you have a blender, which is so much better, do it in a blender. Okay, it doesn't look like a lot. So when I first started making these, I was like, this is gonna be the smallest fucking acai bowl in the world. I'm gonna be hungry after this. This makes a lot because we're gonna add some more fruit to it. I got this from Costco since we've been making this so much. You can get this at any grocery store. It is just a three berry blend. Got it from Costco. It's lasted us forever. So any mixed frozen berry, I do 100 grams. So. I'm just gonna add this. All right, added that. And banana. Banana makes this like, I don't know, like thick or something. It's just good. I, I love it, but I'm having trouble finding frozen banana in any grocery store. So what I've been doing is putting a fresh banana. I put a whole, bunch yeah bunch of bananas in the freezer and I will just cut one up so you can either do that and I will show you how I cut mine up because it can be a little bit difficult but I found a super easy way or at Target someone told me to check Target so I did I didn't see any frozen banana on its own but I did see frozen banana and strawberry so you could do that if you wanted to so let me show you how I cut this okay cut the end And this has been out of the freezer for like maybe 10 minutes. So it is a little bit defrosted, which makes it a lot easier. So I cut it in half and then I cut it in half lengthwise. And then I kind of just like make little cuts like this. And it just, the skin just peels right off like that. 90 grams of frozen banana. And I found that usually it is around 90 grams, one banana. Yep. And because I have a food processor, I'm just gonna chop them up a little bit smaller because the food processor doesn't do a great job chopping it up that much. Coconut beverage. It is co uh, coconut milk. You can do almond milk or coconut milk. I am just doing this. I do th a third of a cup. BPI protein vanilla flavor, best protein. We're gonna do one scoop of that. Pour that right in. And the very last little thing, just to make it a little bit sweeter, is some liquid stevia. You could also use the same stevia that I, the powdered stevia, you can use that as well. three to four little squirts of liquid stevia. And that's it, I'm just gonna blend it all up. It's perfect. 
it is just perfection. It's thick and creamy. Oh my God, yes. You guys have to try this recipe. Promise you will. Promise. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, because I want serving size to be even and equal, so I'm not having one day, since this makes two days worth of breakfast, I don't want one day to have a lot more acai and one have nothing, I want it to be even. So, what I'm going to do is put it, put a Tupperware on my scale, turn the scale on so it reads zero when this is the Tupperware is on my scale, and I'm gonna dump it all into this one Tupperware so I can take the weight. All right, so my scale reads 382 grams with the acai on there. So all I'm gonna do is do 382 divided by two. That equals 191. So I am just going to take out 191 grams of my acai. Oh my God. I feel like my dog, my dog just wiggles her butt when something's exciting. <laughs> okay, do I'm done, that's it. So if you were to meal prep this, put the top on, put it in the fridge. That's literally, I'm just gonna do that right now. This is what it looks like. And the things that I top my acai bowl with every single time I eat it, literally, these are my favorite toppings. Granola, granola is so annoyingly high in carbs for the smallest freaking amount, it's so frustrating. But this toasted, coconut granola from Trader Joe's is the best macros that I seem to find for the flavor that I like and that I want. So I really like that coconutty flavor because I do also add coconut shavings and coconut chips. So I just do 15 grams of granola. But the beauty of this is the toppings you can customize to fit your diet. So I kind of load on the toppings because I have the macros for it, but 15 grams is a good amount actually for the serving size of acai. So I usually do 15 grams of granola, and then I also do some organic coconut chips. Um, it's high in fat, so I'll just do like 10 grams, or like even five, and just sprinkle them on. It just really depends on what your diet allows for toppings. So don't take these as like Bible. You can really customize your macros, customize your acai bowl to fit your calories, to fit your macros. And <clears throat> I also add some chia seeds. I have these black chia seeds. Um, you can get them, you can, you can get any type of chia seed from any grocery store. I usually just do three grams. It's just, it's you don't need a lot of chia seed, but they help with fiber and they help you stay full, a really good source of healthy fat. And then for some chocolate, I have these roasted cocoa, cacao, cacao nib, co cacao, cacao. So two recipes done. How simple was that? Next is, my egg cups. So I have these muffin tins and I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees. First things first, cooking spray in all of these. Okay, so first we're gonna do the peppers and the onion, not the peppers and the onions, the sausage and peppers. So I just bought frozen peppers. Simple, I'm all about simplicity. So I have Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumble. So to get the exact macros, I want 15 grams of sausage. So I have this on my scale, turn my scale on, my scale's at zero, and I am just going to take until it says 15 and put them in six, the six cups. And then 20 grams of peppers. All right, and then now I'm gonna do the roasted red pepper and the feta one. So I'm just gonna add the, the chunks before I add the eggs, add the filling, I guess you would say. And then all we do is literally just pour a carton of egg whites on top until it fills it. It's the simplest recipe ever. So I'm gonna measure 30 grams of roasted red peppers into the rest of the mini muffin tins. And I wanna give you like a little easy trick 
buying these pre-sliced, they're called deli sliced roast red pepper, makes it so you don't even have to cut anything. So simple. I can't even take it. So 30 grams, just in the bottom. And you can like, this one's super long, so I'm just breaking it with, with my hands. All right, peppers. The roast red peppers are in, and now I'm just gonna top it with some fat-free feta. I chose fat-free just because I wanted to give you guys like the lowest mac lowest calories, best macros possible, and I know fat adds up quickly, so if you can cut fat out of something, why not do it? So I'm just gonna put this on my scale and take 10 grams and just top it with the feta. All right, so we haven't seasoned anything yet, and you know me, I season everything. So what I'm gonna season this with, of course, is salt. It needs a little bit of salt and then garlic and herb seasoning. These seasonings are awesome. I do have a coupon code, XTINA15. will save you 15% off of these seasonings. They're eat clean meal prep. Garlic and herb and Himalayan pink sea salt. Himalayan pink sea salt is just a little bit better of a, an option than regular table salt. And I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of salt you want these to taste good you don't want to have to like re-season them every single time you go to warm them up it, they're literally just grab and go and the feta is a little bit salty so you don't need too much salt on those but for the peppers and the sausage one give it a nice little sprinkle of salt and then a little sprinkle of garlic and herb on everything ignore me oh my god all right, let me show you what the base looks like. Look at all that, how colorful and beautiful sausage on the bottom. You can add, I've added sweet potatoes to some of these before. You can, it, you can customize these however you want, it's awesome. I'm gonna just grab my egg whites. 90 grams of liquid egg whites literally makes it perfect. So, if you want it exact, you could totally measure out 90 grams or just fill it. That's what I'm gonna do. So these are the peppers and the onions. And these are the sauce, uh, the roasted red pepper and the feta. So I'm just gonna put these in, in the oven, like I said, 350 for 20 to 30 minutes. At the 20 minute mark, that's when I'm gonna check it with a toothpick. So I will catch you then and show you if they're done or not. Egg cups just came out of the oven. A little update. So 20 minutes went off the timer and I opened up the oven and immediately you can visually tell if they're not done yet. So I knew that they were not done. 30 minutes was perfect. Let me show you. They're like kind of messy and ugly. They're not like the prettiest things in the world, but this is real life. I am not Giada. One day I will be. But right now we're just making health taste good and health be easy. So let me show you. And so to check if they're done, you just put them, put a toothpick in, and it comes out. There's a little bit of stuff on there, but these are completely done. You can tell, like, when you put the toothpick in, it's like, you can tell that it's like kind of like hard, and like, it, you, can, you can feel that it's done. So 30 minute cook time for these are perfect. And the only other thing I have to show you is the oatmeal, which has six more hours. So when that is done, I will show you the finished product of the egg cups when they, you know, come out of their little, their little mold. But all of these recipes, you can find them right on my website, on my blog. I have it listed below in the description box, the web, my website. Just go to my website, the blog portion, and every single recipe always whenever I do this, this cooking series all recipes you can find on my blog and share the knowledge share my YouTube channel with friends and family I you know maybe I'm a little biased because it's me but I think I do great recipes and make really yummy healthy foods and it's super easy so I don't have that many followers on Instagram I have almost 16,000 but I want more people to see these recipes. I want more people to understand how to eat good, healthy foods without feeling like you're dieting or starving yourself. So spread the knowledge, make these, bring them to work, tell people to come to my YouTube. I mean, let's just make the world a healthier place. Let's not overcomplicate things. That is my goal is to just get everybody eating whole foods, real foods, foods that you cook at home that you don't have to go out and buy and spend all this money on takeout. 
You don't have to do that. This smells amazing. This is grab and go breakfast. So simple. So I will show you the finished product of the other, you know, little stuff in six hours. See ya. Bye. So this is the oatmeal. It is so thick in a good way. What I'm gonna do is just add a splash of almond milk. Just to get a more, oh, just a little bit more of a creamy consistency. And also some Walden Farms. How perfect. Imagine a bowl of this in the morning. So I weighed out one serving of the oatmeal and my camera died. So this is the next day, hence outfit change. But I feel like this is perfect because now it's the next morning and I'm gonna show you how, if I made this for myself, how I would do it each morning. So the oatmeal sat overnight and I just weighed out one serving, which is 142 grams. This is my camera almost just fell. This is, so it's hard because the oatmeal sat overnight. So you see how it's in clumps. I'm gonna show you how I would handle this situation, which is kind of perfect because I want you guys to be prepared to eat this deliciously every single morning. So I'm gonna tilt the camera so you can see inside the bowl. I like to put it in a, in a deeper bowl because we're gonna add some almond milk, we're gonna add some protein, we're gonna need to stir it and break it up. So. I'm going to warm up this oatmeal for about a minute and that will help break it up. So I just warm this up for a minute and it's a lot softer so now I can stir it. What I'm going to do is add just a splash of almond milk just to break it up a little bit more. And we are adding protein powder so it's good if it becomes just a little watery. And I'm adding the protein powder after I warmed up the oatmeal. You don't wanna microwave the protein powder. So now it actually looks like oatmeal. I'm probably gonna have to add just a little bit more almond milk after I add the protein powder so it's not super, super like gummy and thick, but this is such a better, if you can just eat this like this. You don't have to add the protein powder, but I am just trying to make you guys hit your protein goals and get protein in your diet. So I'm gonna add one scoop of BPI vanilla best protein this stuff tastes delicious it mixes perfectly in here so one scoop and I am just gonna stir and incorporate and this is why I'm using a big bowl because it kind of makes a mess if you don't so see how clumpy it is keep stirring don't give up it will incorporate I have not added any milk yet. So it's still thick. So what I'm gonna do, I want it a little thinner, just my preference. So I'm gonna add another little splash of almond milk. You can do water, but I'm just doing almond milk. There is calories in almond milk, but we're doing a splash, so it's really not that big of a deal. And you just keep adding a little bit of milk until you reach the consistency that you want. All right. That is thick and like, it's so delicious and thick. Okay, so I have my one serving of oats in my bowl. Now this is only 22 carbs. I think with adding the protein, it turned out to be 26. So 26 carbs for this bowl. It's not a huge bowl of oatmeal, but I'm trying to give you guys the most calorie friendly, macro friendly options. You can double this recipe, or instead of making five servings out of the crock pot oatmeal, you can make four and have a little bit bigger of a serving because 26 grams of protein is, or 26 grams of carbs is not a lot. You can have more than that, especially for breakfast. You want to fuel your body in the morning, especially to keep your metabolism working throughout the day. You want energy for throughout the day. So I would recommend making a maybe three or four servings out of the crock pot and then just making the oatmeal again later on in the week, setting yourself up for the weekend to have oatmeal. So I have my one serving and I'm not quite done. If you, if you can be extra, if you want, you don't have to do this step. But if you wanted to do like a cinnamon roll topping, like a cinnamon roll frosting, a great way, a great delicious way to add more protein and more flavor, more sweetness, is by doing protein frosting. So I have 10 grams of the BPI vanilla protein in my cup. 
and I'm just gonna add a, the tiniest splash of almond milk and I am just gonna slowly stir until it gets to like a frosting like consistency and I will just keep adding a little bit of almond milk at a time it's better to keep adding little by little than to add too much and then it's like just a protein shake in a cup if you end up adding too much almond milk you can always just add a little bit more protein powder so you just want it to be like a thick frosting right? like as if you were frosting a cupcake And all I'm gonna do is just drizzle this over the top as if it was a, a real cinnamon roll. And then, just to top it off, I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in my hands, just because I have to be all about presentation. And then just sprinkle a little cinnamon over the top of everything. And that is it. A nice big warm bowl of cinnamon roll pro cinnamon roll oatmeal that you made overnight didn't even have to do anything now let's talk macros so for the oatmeal without any protein added because you don't have to add the protein you can just take the serving out of the crock pot and eat it just as is so for that without any protein it is 120 calories 22 carbs 2 fat 4 protein if you wanted to add protein to your meal, which of course I think you should, it's just gonna keep you more full. So I would add a scoop of protein, and then if you want a little bit of extra protein, add that little protein frosting. It's so good, it just sweetens it up a little bit more. So for that, it is 26 carbs, 36 grams of protein, and three fat and three fiber. So if you wanted to add a little bit more fat, you could do a dollop of peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, sunflower butter, any type of butter, cookie butter. Delicious. Oatmeal, it smells amazing. Your house is gonna smell amazing. I recommend, I really would recommend cooking it for six hours and not eight. Eight still worked, so if you end up cooking it for eight, just stir it and trust that it will break up. I promise you're probably gonna freak out and be like, oh my God, it's burnt. It's not. Add a little bit of almond milk or a little bit of water, break it up, stir it up, and it will turn out fine. I had to do that and it turned out delicious and beautiful and I wanna eat this whole bowl right now. I wanna stick my face in it. Let's talk macros about the egg cups. So we have two different egg cups. Let's talk about the roasted red pepper and feta egg cup first. So for one egg cup, it is 64 calories. 12 grams of protein, three carb and zero fat for these guys. Roasted red pepper and feta, 12 protein. So if you were to have a breakfast, if it was me, I would have two egg cups and two slices of bread. Maybe put some avocado on my bread or guacamole to make avocado toast, add some healthy fats into my breakfast. You have a well-rounded breakfast right there. So these ones are my favorite. If you make one of these, I would highly recommend to do the sausage and pepper because there's so much flavor in here. Look at all of the chunks and... Oh my gosh. So for one of the roasted red, or one of the sausage and peppers, it is 75 calories, 13 grams of protein, two carb and one fat easiest grab and go delicious protein packed little omelets delicious you can do so many different things with these two add some cheese to the sausage and pepper ones i have a broccoli and cheddar recipe on my blog and my website you can do anything with these put anything inside of them and then the acai bowl i will insert another picture of the finished acai bowl product with all the toppings on it right here but the macros i'm just going to give you the macros for the base of the acai bowl because the toppings are up to you i have a lot more calories available in my diet than you probably do because i did such a long reverse diet and i i worked on my metabolism for nine whole months so i'm just going to give you the macros for the base of one serving of the acai bowl and that is 175 calories, 22 grams of carbs, 13 protein, and four fat, just for the base. So 22 carbs, that's not a lot. That is amazing. If you go and get it at a restaurant or a little drive through whatever, they are so high in carbs and fats. So you can really manipulate the calories with the, the toppings. I love these recipes. 
Every single one of them I have eaten personally and I enjoy and they take no time at all. All of these are things that you can meal prep so please, I hope you make these. And please, in the comment section, let me know what you made, how you liked it, and any requests for something that you really wanna learn how to make, I got you. I really wanna come and teach you my proper way to make steak. So I think in the next one, I'm gonna make a steak recipe with like a mushroom and onion topping, maybe some cauliflower mashed potatoes. So like and subscribe if you're loving what I'm doing here. I love your comments. Leave some love if you tried my recipes. And I will catch you in the next Health is Easy. Bye, guys.